fly to Australia. <laughs> I'm in Los Angeles this year. I am making my own music. I'm going to show you some things that I'm taking in my carry-on. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's Tuesday and today is our last day in Florida. We are packing up right now, getting ready to fly to Los Angeles. We're in Los Angeles for a few days um, and then we fly to Australia. We talked about it on our Justin Gabriel channel, but if you missed that video, basically we've been trying to go back to Australia for a while now. I haven't been able to go back to Australia a lot the past four years, just with my US residency and then COVID and all the borders closing. The last time we went there was December of 2019 for Christmas. It's been really Really hard for me over the last few years of like not being able to see my family very often not be able to go back to my home country so we applied for an exemption for Gabriel because the Australian borders are closed to anyone who's not a citizen even still it's been very hard for citizens to get into the country there's still Australian citizens who are kind of stranded in other countries not able to get back in we applied and Gabe got accepted and we were over the moon we couldn't believe it and so um, we booked flights for a couple weeks later and yeah now today is the day that we are going to LA so we're just getting everything ready we're getting the house ready because we have family that are coming and staying here staying with Milo packing out bags cleaning up just making sure everything is ready that's why a duvet is hung over there we're just like washing everything it's almost one o'clock and I think we're leaving for the airport around seven obviously I'm over the moon to be going home um it doesn't feel real i just i'm so excited to be going home but with that there's still a lot of australians who are in different countries who are unable to go back to australia right now so i've just been trying to think about the right balance i obviously am very excited i don't want to come across insensitive by being excited about going home because i know so many australians aren't able to go home right now but i'm also just so excited to go home for a couple months be with my family the last thing i want to do is come across insensitive and like like hurt people's feelings by showing how excited I am to go back. With that said, I'm going to start packing my bag. I have such a long list of my phone of things to pack. I don't want to forget anything. I think Milo knows something is up. I do have my suitcase out downstairs and he usually knows if a suitcase is out that we're going somewhere and he can usually tell. I think he gets sad. I filmed this video right before I turned the camera on and I was like, are you crying? <laughs> I'm going to start packing. It really doesn't feel real that I'm going to Australia. I think because we do the two week hotel quarantine first. I don't know. I think it's also just been a long time where I haven't been able to travel to Australia even just getting our passports out and like getting all of the paperwork we need to enter Australia that makes it a little bit more real and then we said goodbye to all of Gabe's family on the weekend we saw them on Easter Sunday and so they all said goodbye to us and that was really weird are you sad? do you want to react to it? <laughs> maybe in LA Gabe was just at the bank doing some transfers for our trip and I was like, can you try and get Australian cash? That's right. Sad, sad day. It's 1.30 right now. Uh, last night I walked through the house and like wrote our family who's staying, just like a long list of stuff. And they're actually coming this afternoon. So we're going to do like a house walkthrough of like, this is how you use this. I totally forgot to mention, I wanted to talk about Harper and Willow really quickly. If you didn't know, I put up my remaining inventory that I had from my Harper and Willow products a few years ago. The website's been up for maybe a month now. Thank you to anyone who bought some of the remaining inventory. It means a lot and it just meant a lot how happy you guys were to get some stuff. I'll be closing the store in two weeks. I just wanted to let you guys know if there's anything else that you want to get. A lot of stuff did sell out, but there's still quite a few stuff on there. There's still church notebooks and other notebooks, all 50% off, but exciting new things are coming. I'll leave a link down below to the store. Anyway, that's it. Back to the vlog. Okay, it's a couple hours later. It is 3.30, so we have about an hour and a half until we have to be fully ready but i thought i'd just show you my progress right now this is organized chaos it's organized mess but this is just how i'm organizing everything i want to pack before i pack it just so i make sure i'm not forgetting anything i just put all of my clothes on the bed which i already know that's too much so i'm gonna have to sort through that again then i have some work stuff some shoes this is my pill organizer with all of my supplements in it this is all of my skincare and my makeup my hair care some face mask toothbrush my hair tools he knows something is happening you know oh 
I got this off Amazon and it's a travel jewelry organizer. So I just have some necklaces, bracelets, some earrings, some rings. I never really had anything to put like my necklaces in when we would travel. And so I'd put them in a bag and then they would get all tangled. So this is really cool because it just folds up like this and then hopefully they'll all stay like that. And this is my like travel cosmetics bag. I got this from Shea Mitchell's like luggage travel company base. I've been looking for like a big toiletries bag that can fit my skincare, my makeup in it. This one comes with a mirror too. It also has a spot for your makeup brushes. So I really like that. Anyway, my laundry is almost done. I have one more load to go and then I can start packing everything. And all my troubles sail away tonight. This is where we're at. Gabe's about to start packing into his suitcase. I'm also about to start packing. I've just been like folding stuff. It's six o'clock and we're aiming to leave at 6.45. So we'll see how we go. I actually don't know what the last thing was that I filmed. I wanted to come and give you guys a little update. I'm in Los Angeles right now. I'm in our hotel room. This is our second date in Los Angeles. It's funny because there's a mirror behind the bed. So like you can just see my hand in the mirror. We only have a couple more days left before our flight, which just like gives me butterflies. I had a recording session today. I don't know how much I've said on my YouTube, but this year I am making my own music. I have a few songs now that I love. I just got back from that. That was kind of my entire afternoon. It went really well though and I'm really excited to hear how it sounds. Gabe has been recording a podcast with a friend so he's out doing that. I wanted to make sure that I came back and gave you guys an update. I was like I just feel like vlogging the other day was messy and I don't want to end it on that. We're in a really nice room. There's so much space so there's a little bathroom, a bedroom area, Gabe's suitcases, my suitcases and then there's this whole like living room area and then this is our view. Very nice. We've got a view of the city. I'm really excited for you guys to hear my original music. I love it. I only have a few songs right now but they're very very much from the heart and I really hope that you guys enjoy them because they are so personal to me and I feel like if you know me well if you've watched my videos you will totally understand what I'm singing about. I don't have a timeline I don't know when anything is going to come out yet. Yoohoo! Hello? Oh, okay. show you some things that I'm taking in my carry-on so I have this big bag which is perfect because usually I only take my little handbag and it doesn't have a lot of room for extra stuff all right first is lip balm snacks I'm gonna be having a lot of snacks in this bag because we've been told to pack a lot of snacks snacks for the flight and then snacks for when we first get into the quarantine hotel apparently it can be quite a while until you get your first meal so there'll probably be a lot of snacks in here my disposable camera I have a few of these for this trip I love these I love putting the pictures in photo albums Albums. I love how raw and like in the moment these are. I have two books. So the first one is called The Poet by Michael Connolly. I haven't started it yet, so I can't speak on it but Michael Connolly is my dad's favorite author and he writes like mystery and murder novels so I thought I'd give it a go because mystery and murder are my favorite type of novels. The second one is called Two Can Keep a Secret. I think this will be the third book from this author that I've read. She wrote One of Us is Lying which is like a super popular young adult mystery novel. This one sounds interesting. The title just reminds me of Pretty Little Liars. Two can keep a secret if one of them is dead. I'm excited to get into these during the flight and the quarantine. Next this is my iPad. Hopefully I'll be able to sleep on the flight, but if not, I will just download some movies on here. This is always the best for flights and it fits really well in a bag. Taking my headphones for any movies. Taking my Switch. I may get back on Animal Crossing. I haven't played Animal Crossing in a really long time, but I got it back out for the two week quarantine. Gabe has his too, so we can play like Mario Kart and stuff like that. I feel like that's it other than like my purse and my passport, my asthma puffer. I think I'm just gonna kick my feet off. What? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna kick my feet 
up. I'm gonna lay down, relax, put on a YouTube video. I'll show you my food when it gets here. You know what's really funny about those shots is you guys know people set the, those shots up, right? Like, obviously the camera wasn't just rolling the whole time. Got some food! Yoo-hoo! Now I can take my shoes off. Loving the dream. A lovely lettuce wrap burger and then some lovely fries that smell incredible. I'm gonna eat these now and just hang out a little bit. The next vlog that you see, I'll be in Australia, which is... That doesn't even sound real still. I am over the moon to be going back to Australia and to just have normal family time with my family and just be able to feel like I'm living there for a few months, especially for Gabe as well. We're gonna be there for a few months and just for him to kind of get a feel of what living in Australia feels like, something that I've wanted us to experience for a really long time. So I just feel really blessed that we're able to go. Love you guys. I will see you in my next video in Australia. Oh my God. Okay, bye guys.